You're watching WSBT, your local news leader. Voted best newscast and best weather operation by the Associated Press. First in high definition, this is WSBT News at 5. Notre Dame scientists are working on new technology that could revolutionize the way we use silk. The scientific breakthrough is paving the way for new uses of silk. A Notre Dame scientist in a joint effort with the University of Wyoming and Craig Biocraft Laboratories has succeeded in creating transgenic silkworms capable of spinning artificial spider silks. WSBT's Chad Damp was at today's announcement and joins us with more. Chad. Silk has been used for many things since the 27th century B.C., but never has the practical uses for the fiber been greater than today. A new scientific process developed at Notre Dame has opened the door for a potential boom in silk products. Silk has been used for everything from clothes and furniture to parachutes and bicycle tires. Almost all silk used commercially comes from silkworms, though it can also be produced by spiders and goats. Spider silk is the strongest, but it's also hard to get. Spider silks are generally about twice as, uh, twice as strong as silkworm silk. That was until a group of scientists, led by Notre Dame professor Malcolm Fraser, genetically engineered silkworms to produce artificial spider silk. The biggest limitation was finding a platform that you could spin enough of this fiber to make it commercially feasible. There's nearly one kilometer of silk thread on this spool and it would have taken nearly 500,000 spiders to create the same amount. For these new silkworms, it only took 20. We are opening a door and we're stepping through it. And I think other companies will, and other, other researchers will be following us through that door. Kim Thompson is CEO of Craig Biocraft and championed this new research. He says until now, materials like this didn't exist in practical amounts. Soon, the new fiber could be used for biomedical purposes like tendon and ligament repair and in products like bulletproof vests and improved car airbags. I think what we're looking at is an expansion of demand for um, products with properties of strength and flexibility which simply didn't exist. Putting Notre Dame on the leading edge of the new silk revolution. The CEO of Craig Biocraft says he, hasn't, he has some ideas for the name of this new type of silkworm, but he's not quite ready to announce it just yet. The scientists plan to publish their findings soon, but they don't know yet when or in which scientific journal. I'm Chad Damp, WSBT News.